Hey everyone! Have you ever wondered how researchers figure out what makes you choose one option over another? Welcome to the fascinating world of discrete choice experiments or DCEs. So, what exactly is a DCE? It's a research method used to understand and quantify how we make decisions when presented with a set of options. You'll find it in fields like economics, healthcare, marketing, and transportation. But how does it work? Let's break it down. First, researchers define attributes and levels. Think of attributes as features or characteristics of the options being studied. For instance, in healthcare, attributes might include cost, wait time, and quality of care. Each attribute has different levels or variations. Next, they design choice sets. These are hypothetical scenarios created using those attributes and levels. Each choice set presents a series of options with different combinations of attribute levels. Participants are then asked to choose their preferred option from these sets. Moving on, researchers conduct the survey. Participants go through the choice sets, selecting their preferred options or ranking them according to their preferences. Then it's time to analyze the data. Statistical models like multinomial LogiT models or mixed LogiT models come into play. These models help estimate the relative importance of each attribute and the trade-offs participants are willing to make. Finally, researchers interpret the results. The insights gained reveal how different attributes affect decision-making. For example, they might find that people are willing to pay more for shorter wait times in healthcare. DCEs are incredibly useful for understanding consumer preferences and making informed decisions about product design, policy development, or service improvements. They help predict how changes in attributes or policies might affect choices and behaviors in real-world settings. So the next time you make a decision, remember, there might just be a DCE behind understanding your choice. Thanks for watching.